When the Israelites arrived at Mount Sinai, Moses went up into the mountain for forty days. God revealed himself and they were terrified. Exodus 19 16-18 Then it came to pass on the third day, in the morning, that there were thunderings and lightnings, and a thick cloud on the mountain. And the sound of the trumpet was very loud, so that all the people who were in the camp trembled. And Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet with God. And they stood at the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was completely in smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire. Its smoke ascended like the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. Out of this momentous encounter came the covenant between the Lord and Israel including the Ten Commandments, x 20-1-17. When Moses delayed in coming down from Mount Sinai, the faithless people became restless. They persuaded Aaron to take their golden earrings and other articles of jewelry and to fashion a golden calf for worship. When he came down from the mountain, Moses was horrified at the idolatry and rebellion of his people. The sons of Levi were loyal to Moses, however, and he ordered them to punish the rebels. X 32-28 B-Drop Cap. Because of his anger at the golden calf, Moses cast down the two tablets of stone with the Ten Commandments and broke them at the foot of the mountain. X 32-19 After the rebellion had been put down, Moses went up into Mount Sinai again and there received the Ten Commandments a second time. X 34 to 1, 29, there was given hundreds of laws for the people. These laws were divided into in three phases. Moral laws, ten commandments written by the finger of God, civil laws, dietary and judicial also, and ceremonial laws, sacrifices, feast days, etc. Ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle was born circa 384 BC in Stajara, Greece when he turned 17. He enrolled in Plato's Academy in 338. He began tutoring Alexander the Great in 335. Aristotle founded his own school, the Lyceum, in Athens, where he spent most of the rest of his life studying, teaching and writing. Aristotle died in 322 BC, after he left Athens and fled to Chalcis, as the Greek who most impressed his influence upon the development of the Jewish mind. Aristotle is one of the few Gentiles with whom Jewish legend concerns itself, some 200 years BC. The Jewish philosopher Aristobulus made the positive assertion that Jewish revelation and Aristotelian philosophy were identical. Aristotle may have been a genius when it came to philosophy, especially logic, but he didn't know much about science. Sure, we cannot excel in every field we try our hand in, but Aristotle's massive errors aren't just a personal embarrassment to him, they directly hampered scientific progress for close to 2,000 years. Jesus Christ circa 4 before Common Era Jesus Christ the leader of an apocalyptic movement, Messiah, a charismatic healer, a sage and philosopher, an egalitarian social reformer. The myth of Jesus Christ find their origin in pagan gods such as Krishna, Buddha, Horus, Zoroaster, Mithras, Attis, Dionysus, Bacchus. Their myths share the following similarities. Born of virgin on December 25th, stars appeared at their births, visited by magi from the east turned water into wine, healed the sick, cast out demons, performed miracles, transfigured before followers, rode donkeys into the city, betrayed for thirty pieces of silver, celebrated communal meal with bread and wine, which represented the Savior's flesh and blood, killed on a cross or tree, descended into hell, resurrected on third day, ascended into heaven, 
to forever sit beside Father God and become divine judge. Maimonides about 1135 Rabbi Moshe ben Maimon, Talmudist, Halakist, physician, philosopher and communal leader, known in the Jewish world by the acronym Rambam and to the world at large as Maimonides, is one of the most important figures in the history of Torah scholarship. On his gravestone were inscribed the words, From Moses to Moses, none arose as Moses. Today, many hospitals and schools across the globe are named after Maimonides, and to this day, Students worldwide pour over his scholarly works, author of the Code of Jewish Law, the Mishnah Torah, as well as the philosophical classic The Guide for the Perplexed. Spinoza was a philosopher's philosopher. Bertrand Russell said of him that he was the noblest and most lovable of the great philosophers. Unfortunately this did not prevent him from being vilified, excommunicated from his Jewish community, and labeled a heretic during his time. He is best known for his work The Ethics, one of the classics of modern philosophy, published after his lifetime. In it he sets out his metaphysical ideas, which begin with the notion that reality comprises of just one substance which can be conceived of as either nature or God. This substance has infinitely many attributes. However, we as finite human beings can only perceive two of them, extension and thought. Leon Medina, a Venetian rabbi, cantor, preacher, teacher, author, and polemicist, during his early years as a rabbi in Venice, Modena wrote some interesting response on contemporary Jewish cultural and legal issues, such as going about bareheaded and playing tennis or traveling by boat on the Sabbath. As Modena's manuscripts were discovered during the 19th century, they were viewed as attacks on traditional Judaism. Shabbatai Zevi at age 22 in 1648, Shabbatai started declaring to his followers in Smyrna that he was the true messianic redeemer, probably with his consent. Shabbatai's adherents planned to abolish many of the ritualistic observances because, according to a minority opinion in the Talmud, in the messianic time there would no longer be holy obligations. The Sabbatian movement consisted of followers who continued to believe that Shabbatai Zevi was still the Jewish Messiah and that the end of the world was at hand. Jacob Frank, Jewish religious leader who claimed to be the reincarnation of the self-proclaimed Messiah Shabbatai Zevi and also of the biblical patriarch Jacob. The Jewish authorities in Poland excommunicated Frank and his followers due to his heretical doctrines that included deification of himself as a part of a trinity. Moses Mendelssohn, a German Jewish philosopher to whose ideas the Haskalah, the Jewish Enlightenment of the 18th and 19th centuries, is undebted. A movement among European Jews in the 18th-19th centuries that advocated adopting Enlightenment values, pressing for better integration into European society and increasing education in secular studies, Hebrew language and Jewish history. Mendelssohn's descendants include the composers Fanny and Felix Mendelssohn and the founders of the Mendelssohn and Co. Banking House. Moses Sefer. He was a teacher to thousands and a powerful opponent to the reform movement in Judaism, which was attracting many people from the Jewish communities in Austria, Hungary and beyond. As Rav of the city of Pressburg, he maintained a strong Orthodox Jewish perspective through communal life, first-class education, 
and in compromising opposition to reform and radical change. Hegelianism, the philosophical system of George Wilhelm Hegel, resting on the notion of the dialectical principle, where reflective thinking establishes an order of development that corresponds to the order of the real world. It was fundamental in the theology of some of the leaders of the Jewish reform movement. Leopold Zunze, a German reform rabbi and writer, the founder of what has been termed Jewish studies or Judaic studies, Wissenschaft des Judentums, the critical investigation of Jewish literature, hymnology and ritual. One, Zunze's historical investigations and contemporary writings had an important influence on contemporary Judaism. Samuel David Lutzato he was also one of the first Jews who permitted themselves to amend the text of the Old Testament. Lutzato was the first Jewish scholar to turn his attention to Syriac too, considering a knowledge of this language of significant importance for the understanding of the Targum. During his literary career of more than 50 years, Lutzato wrote a great number of works and scholarly correspondences in Hebrew, Italian, German and French, besides he contributed to most of the Hebrew and Jewish periodicals of his time. His correspondence with his contemporaries is both voluminous and instructive, there being hardly any subject in connection with Judaism on which he did not write. Zacharias Frankel Frankel was the founder and the most eminent member of the School of Historical Judaism, which advocates freedom of research, while upholding the authority of traditional Jewish belief and practice. This school of thought was the intellectual progenitor of conservative Judaism. Abraham Mapp, a Lithuanian Jewish novelist and Hebrew of the Huskala Enlightenment movement, his novels later served as a basis for the Zionist movement. Samson Raphael Hirsch, Rabbi Samson Raphael Hirsch, devotes a long section of his book Horeb, pp. 460-461, to the obligation of Jews to seek the welfare of their government. Abraham Geiger, German rabbi and scholar who led the founding of Reform Judaism, he sought to remove all nationalistic elements, particularly the chosen people doctrine, from Judaism stressing it as an evolving and changing religion. Moses Hess, an important German socialist thinker, Hess underwent a transformation in his attitude toward the suffering of Jews in his later years. In 1862, he published Rome and Jerusalem one of the earliest Zionist manifestos calling for the preservation of Jewish national consciousness in the diaspora and the restoration of a Jewish state in Palestine. Heinrich Gritz he considered Judaism a moral and intellectual force that was critical to the spiritual health of humanity in general and Germany in particular. His history was history of individual Jewish savants and the intellectual legacy they left. For him, the moral rationalism of Maimonides, in contrast to Kabbalistic superstition, was at the heart of Judaism and was what it had to offer the world.
Leo Pinsker a Zionist pioneer and activist, and the founder and leader of the Have Zion, also known as Hibat Zion, Hebrew, Lovers of Zion, movement. Solomon Schechter Ray Moldavian-born Romanian rabbi, academic scholar, and educator, most famous for his roles as founder and president of the United Synagogue of America, president of the Jewish Theological Seminary of America, and architect of the American conservative Jewish movement. A.D. Gordon A. Zionist ideologue and the spiritual force behind practical Zionism and labor Zionism, he founded Hapol Hatzair, a movement that set the tone for the Zionist movement for many years to come. Influenced by Leo Tolstoy and others, it is said that in effect he made a religion of labor. However, he himself wrote in 1920, Surely in our day it is possible to live without religion. Louis Brandeis, an American lawyer and associate justice on the Supreme Court of the United States, from 1916 to 1939, he approached Zionism from a totally different perspective, from an American one. Zionism did not create, so he argued, a problem of dual loyalty for American Jews because it never demanded their actual immigration to Palestine. Instead, it was consonant with the best traditions of American philanthropy. American Jews were asked to support other needy Jews financially and engendering their return to their ancient homeland, in the same way other ethnic Americans supported their special charities and causes. By this definition, Zionism exemplified the highest ideals of American culture. Asher Hirsch Ginsburg, a Hebrew essayist, and one of the foremost pre-state Zionist thinkers. He is known as the founder of cultural Zionism. With his secular vision of a Jewish spiritual center in Israel, he confronted Theodor Herzl. Unlike Herzl, the founder of political Zionism, H.A.A.M. strived for a Jewish state and not merely a state of Jews. Sigmund Freud, an Austrian neurologist, now known as the father of psychoanalysis. Freud's Jewish origins and his allegiance to his secular Jewish identity were of significant influence in the formation of his intellectual and moral outlook, especially with respect to his intellectual nonconformism, as he was the first to point out in his autobiographical study. Theodor Herzl, an Austro-Hungarian journalist, playwright, political activist, georgist, and writer. He is considered to have been the father of modern political Zionism. Herzl formed the World Zionist Organization and promoted Jewish migration to Palestine in an effort to form a Jewish state. Simon Dubnov, a Jewish historian, writer and activist. Throughout his active participation in the contemporary social and political life of the Russian Empire, Dubnov called for modernizing Jewish education, organizing Jewish self-defense against pogroms, and demanding equal rights for Russian Jews, including the right to vote. Chapman Cohen was the elder son of Enoch Cohen, a Jewish confectioner, and his wife, Deborah, née Barnett. He attended a local elementary school but was otherwise self-educated. He had read Spinoza, Locke, Hume, Berkeley, and Plato by the time he was 18. Chapman Cohen ignorance to knowledge by trial and error, believing 
on what appears to be sound evidence that the Earth is flat, only to discover later that it is a sphere, belief that man is surrounded by hosts of mysterious ghostly agencies that are afterwards given human form. It would indeed be strange if primitive man was right on the one thing, spirit world concerning, which exact knowledge is not to be gained, and wrong about all other things, what nature provides us processes and results. There is no logic possibility of deducing design from a study of natural phenomena. Mordecai Kaplan A. Rabbi Essayist and Jewish educator and the co-founder of Reconstructionist Judaism along with his son-in-law Ira Eisenstein, the movement views Judaism as a progressively evolving civilization. It originated as a branch of conservative Judaism, before it splintered. The movement developed from the late 1920s to 1940s, and it established a rabbinical college in 1968. B. E. R. Borachave, a Marxist Zionist and one of the founders of the Labour Zionist movement as well as a pioneer in the study of Yiddish as a language, Borachave became highly influential in the Zionist movement because he explained nationalism in general and Jewish nationalism in particular in terms of Marxist class struggle and dialectical materialism. The main idea of dialectical materialism lies in the concept of the evolution of the natural world, and the emergence of new qualities of being at new stages of evolution. Rosenzweig's major work is The Star of Redemption, first published in 1921. It is a description of the relationships between God, humanity, and the world, as they are connected by creation, revelation and redemption. If one makes a diagram with God at the top, and the world and the self below, the interrelationships generate a Star of David map. He is critical of any attempt to replace actual human existence with an ideal. In Rosenzweig's scheme, revelation arises not in metaphysics but in the here and now. We are called to love God, and to do so is to return to the world, and that is redemption. Ben Zion Dinner a Zionist activist, educator, historian and Israeli politician. In 1921 he immigrated to Palestine and from 1923 to 1948 served as a teacher and later as head of the Jewish Teachers Training College, Jerusalem. In 1936 he was appointed lecturer in modern Jewish history at the Hebrew University and became professor in 1948 and professor emeritus in 1952. As a historian he described Zionism in the diaspora as a huge river into which float all the smaller streams and tributaries of the Jewish struggle down the ages, too, and tracing its origins to 1700, when history records the first wave of Polish Jews emigrating to Jerusalem. 3. He believed Messianic ferment played a crucial role in Jewish history, for, and introduced the idea of Merit Hagelut, revolt of the diaspora. Joshua Heschel a Polish-born American rabbi and one of the leading Jewish theologians and Jewish philosophers of the 20th century. Heschel, a professor of Jewish mysticism at the Jewish Theological Seminary of America, authored a number of widely read books on Jewish philosophy and was active in the American Civil Rights Movement.
David Hartman an American-Israeli leader and philosopher of contemporary Judaism, founder of the Shalom Hartman Institute in Jerusalem, Israel, and a Jewish author. Rabbi Hartman viewed his immigration to Israel as an essential part of his mission to encourage greater understanding between Jews of diverse affiliations, both in Israel and the Jewish diaspora, and to build a more pluralistic and tolerant Israeli society. His work emphasized the centrality of the rebirth of the state of Israel and religious pluralism, both among Jews and in interfaith relations. Eugene Barowitz, an American leader and philosopher in Reform Judaism, one known largely for his work on Jewish theology and Jewish ethics. He also edited a Jewish journal, Shima, and teaches at the Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion. Ellie Weissel he is the author of 57 books, including Night, a work based on his experiences as a prisoner in the Auschwitz, Buna, and Buchenwald concentration camps. 4. Weissel is also the advisory board chairman of the newspaper, Algeminer Journal. When Weissel was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1986, the Norwegian Nobel Committee called him a messenger to mankind.